Good morning, it's Friday, July 31st, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Be Strong in the Lord, Part 4, Sandals of Peace. This week we are revisiting a series of devotions from 2016 entitled, Faithful Warriors. It's not something we do often, this repeating, but this series bears repeating during times of crisis. Our scriptures, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. Army basic training at Fort Gordon, Georgia, in August of 1966 was such a joy. We went on marches in the woods. It was like a rainforest, hot and steamy. It rained for two centuries during those eight weeks of basic training. And there were two things our drill sergeant's voice bored into our brains on those long, wonderful campouts. Salt and socks. He would so lovingly drone, Gentlemen, and also you low-life privates, that little salt tablet will keep your insides wet. And whatever you do, you better keep them socks dry. Yes, drill sergeant. Paul is no drill sergeant, but he was concerned about making sure the church at Ephesus understood gospel footgear, the preparation of peace. Next to his weapon, correct footwear is one of the most important items of equipment to a soldier. A Roman soldier caught with ragged footgear was liable to severe punishment. And it wasn't just a fickle, arbitrary military game. If a soldier couldn't march, he couldn't fight. The gospel conquers the inner world. Every victory in the Christian's life depends on that peace. Friend, just like the ancient soldier was going nowhere without his proper footwear, no one comes to God without good news, the gospel. And wouldn't it be a strange thing to be called Christian, meaning a disciple or follower of Christ, and not have the word of God, Jesus, the gospel, carrying and directing our steps every inch of the journey. And truth be told, walking in those sandals is the only way to have the peace promised by the Prince of Peace. Let's pray together. Father, we are at a time, a particularly difficult time, when no matter where you look, there are angry, anxious, agitated people. There's little real peace on our planet right now. We're parched for the presence of the Prince of Peace. Help us to be that for our culture, a non-anxious presence of Jesus in the midst of storms. For you today, good news, good shoes. If you lack peace today, give up whatever religious activity in which you've been dabbling and let God give you real peace. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.